So what did we learn from the BVS watch party with Zach? And stay tuned, I have a Snyder Cut theory. Welcome to Strong Arm Flicks. I'm your boy T Flame, and this is episode 38 of Strong Arm Flicks. So, what in the f did we learn from Zack Snyder during the BVS live watch party on Vero? I hope everybody tuned in and checked that shit out. It was amazing. Um, yeah, uh, four years uh, in the making. Um, we finally got our Batman vs Superman director's commentary, guys. And um, yeah, it was it was great. A lot of people were on there. I was on there. A lot of my fr I see a lot of friends on there as well. Um, yeah, it was a good time. Um, one of the things that stood out to me the most was something that Zach said. He said that, and my boy Koji had this as a theory, um, but Zack Snyder confirmed this um, during that scene at the end when he is fighting Doomsday, and he stabs the Kryptonite spear through Doomsday. And he's pushing the spike uh, off of the, the bone spike through his chest in order to kill Doomsday. He has to basically sacrifice himself. So when the final blow to Doomsday happens and, is, and, and, uh, and Clark also does the final damage to himself, you hear a loud scream uh, during his final move. And he's like, ah! And it's during that moment, Zack said, that Superman's voice created waves because you got to realize everything about superman is super you know super hearing super eyesight you know he's got the arctic breath all that shit so his something about him being a kryptonian his vocal cords um and the force behind it when he died that's what woke up the mother boxes so it's at that point and he and zach also confirmed that by the final scene in BVS, when the dirt is slowly rising off of Superman's coffin and then the movie ends, he says at that point, the mother boxes are completely awakened. The other thing that he confirmed too is that that final scene with Jesse Eisenberg um, in the original Steppenwolf design, and he's standing there and it shows the big, giant, Steppen de demonic looking, hulking, menacing Steppenwolf with the three mother boxes, he said that right right then and there jesse eisenberg's lex luther was using a transmitter and he was in the middle of talking communicating to steppenwolf and he was letting uh steppenwolf know basically that uh superman the god is dead basically he's given all the intel that he's collected so far to steppenwolf and Steppenwolf sees the soldiers coming with the guns and he ends the transmission from his end. And the fact that the mother box is awakened, that's what alerted Steppenwolf. But Jesse Eisenberg alerted him and gave him the whole rundown on the whole situation with Superman dying and whatever intel he had on Batman and, and shit like that. And so that sets up for the air cut and then the Snyder cut because in the air cut, <coughs> Steppenwolf is supposed to come to earth in, in trying to get the mother boxes and the suicide squad has to stop him now fast forward to the snyder cut after we get the air cut Zack snyder's justice league comes in and now okay steppenwolf has failed so early on in the movie steppenwolf is is going to decide and uh saying that basically he needs an army this time um, and that, um, that may not be enough basically. So he comes back again and he's already alerted dark side. So dark side is already helping him. And that's what makes dark side have to come fight and come down and fight because the movie wasn't Steppenwolf wasn't the supposed to be the main villain in the Snyder cut. It was supposed to be Desaad, dark side and a bunch of unknown shit that we still don't know about the movie. So that was very interesting. Now, um, the theory that I have for you, let's take a step back. In the Justice League movie, okay, I think that I have figured out where one scene in particular goes and where another might. So they're both theories as of this far because it cannot be confirmed. But during, there, I seen some early uh, 
previs for the uh, Superman versus the Justice League fight scene in the Justice League movie. And in it, the Flash is running, right? And he's running in slow motion, and the, the animation looks terrible. It's like super early on previs. And um, there's bullets everywhere. So my thing is, is that um, that was the military. The military must have been there. And that shit got cut out. Um, then another thing that I was thinking about too is uh, uh, Sam Benjamin being our Green Lantern. He said that in the movie there was a scene that involved the military and there was a part in the movie where you could clearly see where the movie just skips. And that if you pay attention hard enough, you can see it. Um, I believe that Sam Benjamin's Green Lantern scene happens uh he happens to be before before he's green lantern he's you know hell jordan or something. he's in a plane and he's flying around with the military and it's not just the league it's the military and the league trying to stop superman because it's fucking superman now the other theory that i got is that um uh during that scene where aquaman's cracking kind of cracking jokes but not really and he said something about um to Cyborg, he said, to Cyborg and Flash, he said, he's tripping over his own feet, and this guy, we don't know if he's working for the enemy or not. Okay, to me, it always seems strange in that scene that Aquaman said that, because what did, what did Cyborg ever do prior to that scene to make him think or feel like that? Because whatever it was, they never showed it. So, here's my theory. What if that scene was reshot, and the original scene is similar to some semblance of what we got and what if aquaman was talking to superman wearing the black suit just kind of fucking out of it and not talking and that's who he was saying that to wouldn't that make more sense and this guy we don't know if he's working for the enemy or not you know what i'm saying that would make perfect sense what do you guys think about that and that's the flick and if you like what you see like what you hear please smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and as usual i'll be bringing more dc and dceu content so subscribe to me for all of that shit till next time my friends <laughs>